when you want the Holy Ghost and really mean it, sometimes you have to isolate yourself. Shut the television off. Glory to God, turn your cell phone off. Oh yeah, amen. Get away from your computer. Amen. Your communications will get short with others. That's right. Why? You want to entune yourself with God and you don't want no distractions. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. When my brother was testifying how he received the Holy Ghost and his brother received it before him, that, that aroused something in him. Yes, I, I know what you're talking. Glory to God. When I received the Holy Ghost 40 years ago, hmm. and I am only 51, Amen. I received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue at the Spirit of God give utterance when I was 11 years old. God Almighty filled me with that precious gift. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was on a Tuesday. My sister, my youngest sister, we call her Pixie. Pixie got jealous of me. But it was a good jealousy. Yeah. It made her go back and dig deeper. Amen. And fight harder. Fight harder. We received, I received the Holy Ghost that Tuesday. My God, man, a zeal jumped in that girl. She came through speaking in tongue Thursday of the same week. Now when you hear different ones testifying that they received the Holy Ghost and you that don't have it feel left out, mm -hmm. that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Because when you understand how important something is, and you understand how great it is, yeah. you'll start getting hungry for it. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Hungry, hungry. You start getting hungry, you hungry. get an appetite for God. That's right. That's right. You may find yourself getting a little angry. Amen. Thinking God is taking too long. Yeah. Then you start going to your secret closet. Oh, yeah. When I met my wife, I already had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. And when she began to seek the Lord, I realized I was a distraction. Amen. Talking on the phone, you know, stopping by the house to see her and we talking and whatnot, but I wanted her to receive the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. And I told her, look, we're going to cut these calls out. No calling. Mm -hmm. I ain't coming by to see you and your family, and you ain't coming by to see mine. Right. I see you in church, and that conversation was short. I didn't want to do it, and she didn't want to do it, but the Holy Ghost was more important. Right. Amen. And uh, it worked. Amen. See, sometimes. You have to get out of your own way. Go ahead, brother. You don't want nothing to interfere with receiving the Holy Ghost. That's right. Wonderful. <coughs> you that don't have the Holy Ghost, but yet you talking about marrying somebody. He or she is a distraction. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. You ain't concentrating on God hugging and kissing. No way. You're working against yourself. That's right. Go ahead, brother. You got to push her away and push him away. Yeah. And push away from the table. Yeah. 
turn your plate down. Amen. <laughs> turn your glass over. Go ahead. Back away, hallelujah, from the refrigerator. Go ahead. My brother said he asked a question to the Lord, why not me? Amen. In other words, he felt left out. Yeah. There are so many of you that's baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, but your appetite, appetite. is shifty. Yeah. That's right. That's right. The Lord our God says he mm -hmm. that hunger, 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 and thirst mm -hmm. after righteousness, righteousness. He promised you. That's right. He says, shall be filled. Shall be filled. That's a promise, isn't it? That's right. That's a promise. That's a promise. Do you know you can hold God to his word? <laughs> Go ahead. Glory to God. You, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, you know he can't lie. Hallelujah. Hold him to his word. Hallelujah. You that don't have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Seek ye the Lord. Yeah. Then he said, while wow. he may be found. Do Amen. you understand that language? Amen. While he may be found means there will be a time that you won't be able to find him. Right. So when he said, while he may be found, that means while you got life. That's right. What else did he say? Call upon him Call while he's near. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old That's man? That's it. That's it. I understand that longing, that appetite, Go ahead. that lust for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Go ahead. Got to have a lust for it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Strong mm. desire. Oh, yeah. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, take God, I wanted the Holy Ghost. Doesn't matter what position you're in. Mm -mm. I was on my knees. My knees hurt. Mm -hmm. I sat down on the floor. Mm -hmm. That started hurting. Huh. I got back on my knees until it hurt there. Yeah. Then I laid on the floor. Mm. It didn't matter what position I was in. I know God can work in any position. Go ahead. I want to talk about the Holy Ghost tonight. <laughs> Glory to God. God. Wonderful. <laughs> Amen. I want to itemize how to seek for it. Seek. That's right. That's right. And I want to tell you what the Holy Ghost is. Mm -hmm. What it is and who it is. Who it is. Give me the book of James. Amen. Mm -hmm. Chapter 1. That's right. James chapter 1. Listen. <clears throat> James chapter 1 and beginning at verse 1. James, a servant. No, about verse 17. James chapter 1 and at verse 17. Let me see if that's what I want. Every good there gift. There it is. Amen. Start off smelling good. Amen. Every good, good gift. Gift. And, and every perfect gift. Complete gift. Is from above. Is from God. Yeah. That's right. It's a perfect gift. Perfect. It's a complete gift. That's right. Every good gift, every mm -hmm. perfect gift. Is from above. Is from above. And cometh down. And it come down. From the Father of light. From the Father of guidance. With whom? Or the God of direction. That's right. And then the apostle testifies about this God. Mm -hmm. Of whom? Is no variable. He's not unstable. That's right. Nor shadow of turning. Mm. Amen. He's not an unstable God. That's right. Jesus taught us, seek the Lord. That's right. Now, brothers and sisters, I want all of you to pay attention closely. closely. I was in Martinsville, Virginia a few <coughs> weeks ago, and some fellas came from the Church of Christ. Mm. who believe in three separate distinct 
persons in the Godhead and didn't believe the Holy Ghost was God. Was God. Hmm. So I asked him, is God a spirit? Right. He said, yes. I said, what kind? <laughs> That's right. He looked at me and said, uh, what you mean? I said, what kind of spirit is the devil? Yeah. He said, wicked. Mm -hmm. I said, what kind of spirit is God? Mm -hmm. He said, I don't know. That's the problem. Yeah. John 4, 24 says, God, God is a spirit. Holy spirit. God is a spirit, but the devil is a spirit. That's right. The angels are spirits. Right. But notice it says God is a spirit. So the question is, what kind? Yeah. He is the Holy, Holy. Spirit. Holy spirit. Why is he called Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. Holy describe the characteristics of the spirit of God. That's right. It's the clean spirit, pure spirit, powerful spirit. That's right. That's right. So when you're seeking God for the Holy Ghost, you can't go to him like you're going to some man. No, no. You can't talk to him like you're talking to some man. That's right. When you go before God, mm -hmm. remember, it's God that you're talking to. That's right. You got to humble yourself. Humble. That's right. And go before God, high-minded, arrogant, self-will, think you're too cute to get your clothes dirty, think your suit costs too much. No. No. Thank God, we're nothing but dust anyway. Amen. When you go before God on the day of Pentecost, mm -hmm. After the resurrection, after. after the resurrection, Jesus plainly told his apostles, you, you go to Jerusalem That's and right. stay there. Stay there. Amen. It is written in the first chapter of Acts, the former treaties have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and to teach mm, until, until, the, until day. the day in which he was taken up after that. He, through the Holy Ghost, have given the commandments unto the apostles. Whom he had chosen. Whom he had chosen. To whom also, to whom he, showed also himself alive. he showed himself alive after his passion. By many, by infallible, many proofs. infallible proofs. Speaking of the things pertaining that to the pertain kingdom of God. to the kingdom of God. And being assembled together with them. Commanded he them. He charged them. Commanded them. To do what? That they should not depart from Jerusalem. What shall we do then? But wait for Glory the promise of the Father. Wait! Wait! Hallelujah! Glory to God! That's it! Hallelujah! Wait! He said, do what? Wait! Don't get in a hurry! That's right! That's right! Don't put no time on God! That's right! That's right, brother! Hmm? That's right! Wait! Wait for the promise of the Father! What are we waiting for? The promise of the Father! We're waiting for the fulfillment of His word! That's right! That's it! Which saith, ye have heard of me. Right then he told you he's the Holy Ghost. <laughs> because right. he said, we're waiting for the promise of the Father. Well, who was he talking about? Ye have heard of me. Him. That's right. That's right. Wonderful, brother. When you receive the Holy Ghost, that's Jesus in you. That, he said, you heard of me. You've heard of me. Yeah. That's right. Glory to God. Go ahead. How must I seek the Lord? How must I? When you seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. you have to crave it and want it above anything in life. That's right. You have to be drawn to it more than you're drawn to anything, anything. in life. That's right. My soul thirsteth for God. Do you hear? In Psalms 42 and at verse 2. In order for your soul to thirst. Thirst. There got to be a drought within you. That's right. When you go before God for the Holy Ghost, you got to be hungry and thirsty. And thirsty. 
Now, one thing about seeking the Holy Ghost, don't think the devil ain't going to interfere. He's going to interfere. Oh, yeah. He's going to start making you look at well, how long you've been down there and what time it is, where you got to go the next day. You got to call her by the time you get home and whatnot. What you, everything that you should not think about, that's what you're thinking. That's right. That's right. Mm. Now, when you're calling on the Lord, the Lord can shake your body. Oh, yeah. As we often use the term, quicken your body. Right. But that don't mean that you have the Holy Ghost. No, no. Just you see, because you see the ripple in water, that don't mean it's a storm. That's right. <laughs> That's right. The Spirit of God can move on your body. Right. But it have to get in the body. That's it. That's right. When you are seeking the Lord for the Holy Ghost, you're seeking God for him. For him. That's right. You must dismiss everything. Oh, yeah. And everybody. That's right. Out of your mind. And quick as you get one thing out, something else coming in. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about getting your clothes dirty. If they tear up, who cares? Who cares? Amen. Amen. Don't wait till the crew come to church to seek the Holy Ghost. That's right. Mm -mm. That's right. Now, there is no such thing as tarry service. Many churches have what is called Tuesday night tarry service. Yeah. You tarry every day. Amen. Tarry can simply mean wait. That's the wait. And you got to give God service every day. That's right. Don't be the type of brother and sister that needs to be around a crowd. Think you need a crowd to reach God. Amen. You don't. Amen. Your relationship must be between you and God. Don't be dependent okay. upon somebody else praying with you or fasting with you because you may not find them. That's right. That's right. Sometimes you got to go to God by yourself. By yourself. Are you listening? Go ahead. A lot of us use others as a crutch. Yeah. You know, would you pray with me? Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, suppose they don't feel like it. Mm -mm. Whether they feel like it or not, it should not influence you pursuing God. That's right. Do you know when you pursue God, you must pursue him for yourself? For yourself. Peter said, save who? Yourself. Who? Yourself. This is self. Amen. Go ahead. This is all about yourself getting the kingdom. Oh, yes. Are you listening? Amen. Do you hear what the word of God says? And being assembled together with them. Being assembled together with them. Commanded them. It's good when God is assembled with you. Oh, yes. On the day of Pentecost, mm -hmm. there was all with one accord. One accord. In one place. One place. One accord. That's it. Let's talk about that. One accord, one mind, one heart. Yeah. The whole atmosphere have one objective. That's right. That's right. The whole atmosphere. The whole atmosphere. One objective. Yeah. One heart, one mind, one objective, one purpose. Everybody focus on one thing. God. God. No music is playing while you're praying. That's right. You're not sitting out there reading the Bible while prayer is going on. That's right. There's a time and a season for everything under the sun. Amen. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Everybody All is seeking the Lord. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. One accord. One accord. One mind. That's right. The unification of one heart, mm -hmm. one objective. 
Everybody saying the same thing. That's it. Hmm? That's right. You're calling upon the name of the Lord. Well, if you're calling upon the name of the Lord, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Then Todd should not be next to you saying, Mighty God, Mighty God, Mighty God. Go That's right. Go One accord. Someone said, Why is that? Because the Bible said, Whatsoever ye do mm -hmm. in word or deed. Or deed. Or deed. So if I'm seeking the Lord for the Holy Ghost, I'm uttering words. words. And while I'm seeking him, that's a deed. That's right. So I got to do all of it. That's right. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That's right. If Brother Martin is saying, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, he should not be down there the whole time. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. That's right. That's right. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Amen. Everybody. Everybody. Same thing. Amen. One voice. One, one heart. That's right. One mind. That's right. That's wonderful. Nobody should be getting up off their knees trying to lay hands on somebody. That's right. Get your hands off of them. That's right. That's right. When I came up in falsehood, we down there seeking the Lord for the Holy Ghost. Folks had a habit getting in your ear. Call them, call them, call them, call. Get off of me. Amen. And get out of my ear. Get out of my ear. You can yell God into me. That's right. No, you can't. You telling me to call them. No, you call them. You call them. Amen. Don't go yelling in nobody's ear. No. And don't you tell a person. You got the Holy Ghost. That's right. On the day of Pentecost, ain't no one had to tell them Nobody nothing. Nobody had to tell them anything. You got to know it for yourself. That's right. That's right. Amen. When you receive the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. you ain't got to speak in tongue like somebody else. No. It's as the Spirit give utterance. Hold it. If it's as the Spirit give utterance, you have nothing to do with the movement or the function of the Holy Ghost. That's right. If you got a Holy Ghost, you feel just when you see Pastor Jennings, Amen. you feel with the devil. That's right. Because the Holy Ghost I got work with me if I never see you. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. I'm not your Holy Ghost. I'm not your God. Good teaching, brother. Jesus is our God. Good teaching. Yeah. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. There was all with one accord. one accord. In one place. One place. One place. Not some praying and the others drinking tea. No. Not some praying and the others talking like no one is doing anything. Amen. How can you be so disrespectful? Amen. People is praying, crying out to God. And when you seeking the Holy Ghost, call God like you want it. That's right. That's right. That's right. We ain't down there trying to be cute. Amen. Don't let no one tell you, oh, you ain't got to yell, cry out to God. God hear everything. God talk about open your mouth. Open Why? Mouth. Why? That's right. Lord will fill it. He said he'll fill it. He'll fill it. That's right. Why all of a sudden when it comes to God, Amen. you embarrass Go to open your mouth. But for the devil, you allow boastful and foolish. Amen. Paul said, I'm a fool for Christ. That's right. Go ahead. You too cute. Too cute. The crowd to God, Lord. you too handsome. Mm. The crowd to God, listen, man, when you cry out to God, you don't forgot the name brand of your gear. That's right. You forgot about creases. That's right. You're not worrying about the toes of the shoes. You scuffing up the suede. Amen. You ain't worrying about that. No, no. It's you and God. That's right. Jacob said, I won't let you go. Amen. Hallelujah. Except thou bless me. Until you bless me. That's right. That's the way you got to be about the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Wrestle with them. Amen. When you seek the Lord, seek the Lord. one mind, one heart, one, heart. one objective, yeah. and beware, beware 
of discouragement. That's right. It's going to be there from other people. It's going to be there. That's true. The devil will play with your mind and make you focus on how long you've been seeking the Holy Ghost. And once he make you focus on how long, then he'll start telling you it ain't for you. It's not for you. It ain't for you. Yeah. You will never get it. That's right. The devil will do everything in his power to make you out of a disbeliever. That's right. Amen. Notice, Amen. God can't lie. Cannot lie. But isn't it something how we believe a liar? That's right. That's right. That's the true. devil will convince you the Holy Ghost ain't for you. And God is not slack concerning his promise. promise. As men count slackness. That's right. But we believe the devil, hmm. the father of lies. Amen. If you say you want the Holy Ghost, then my question is, how bad? Amen. How, bad? how bad do you want it? Amen. Now, brothers, if you witness to a sister out there in the world, you should not be witnessing to her just to try to get her in the church so you can marry her. <laughs> Same thing with you, sister. Right. You don't try to witness to a brother out there in the world hoping he'll come into church just to get saved for you. For you. And then you say, well, I'm, I'm going to wait till he gets saved. Uh huh. God may have you waiting for 10 or 20 years. <laughs> That's true. Why? Because you got that mentality. You're standing in his way. And because you're standing in his way, he ain't putting God first. So God will just have the Holy Ghost waiting. Why, God ain't got to compete with nobody. That's right. That's right. You want the Holy Ghost? Amen. How bad? How bad? When you say you want the Holy Ghost, you say, I want God. Yeah. I want God. How bad do you want him? How bad do you want him? When I was young coming up, I wanted the Holy Ghost so bad. I went down to the church, you know, through the day. Mm. <laughs> yeah, through the day, man. Got on the bus, went on down to church through the day. Wonderful. Oh, in my room, praying. Yeah. Seeking the Lord. Seeking the Lord. That precious gift. Yeah. Because without the Holy Ghost, I can't get into the kingdom of God. You can't get in. Without the Holy Ghost, I'm not in the body. That's right. You're baptized by one spirit into one body. One body. Don't be so overwhelmed with work and school and job that you lose focus right. on the Holy Ghost. That's right. Don't be so overwhelmed that life itself life. becomes this mass distraction until you become comfortable with coming to church and working on an auxiliary and making money at a job until the Holy Ghost now is so far from your mind. Yeah. Nobody that seeks the Holy Ghost should walk with comfort. That's right. There should be a fear yeah. that's down in you that God can come. Yeah. Go ahead. You become careless Go ahead. in your thought process. You seek relationships more than you seek God. You can spend more time on the internet than you could on your knees. Amen. You can spend more time on the phone. Yeah. Do you ever get to yourself in your room? Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if you got brothers and sisters. No. When you seek the Holy Ghost, you don't care who's in the house. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Shut your door. Amen. Or leave it open. 
But when you seek the Holy Ghost, and let me tell you, brothers and sisters, you got to have it. Got to have it. Don't get comfortable Must just with it. the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. You got to have it. Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you, except the man is born of the water and spirit. And spirit. Water and spirit. That's right. That's right. All right, listen. Amen. It's that light gift. Mm -hmm. And it's a precious gift. Perfect, perfect gift. It's valuable. Oh, yeah. It's important, so important, it's your ticket, if I use the term, right. into the kingdom. the kingdom. Without it, I'm robbed. That's right. That's some, that's when some. you're on your knees, how do you pray? That's right. That's right. Sister, or brother, Y'all talking about marrying, neither one of you have the Holy Ghost. And if you say, hey, look, you know, we, we got to distance ourselves because you become a distraction and I got to focus on the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. If she argue with you and get an attitude with you yeah. and then going to get in another relationship just because you want to put the relationship on hold for God. For God. She never was worth marrying. That's right. That's right. Same way with you, sister. Yeah. You tell that brother, hey, look, you, you just in my way. You on my mind too much. And we got to back away. I, I need to buckle down and see if the Holy Ghost. If he get an attitude Amen. and then going to argue with you, going to tell you, well, go ahead and walk in. There's somebody else out there. Right. It's good that happened. That's right. Because if he's doing this and you ain't married, God help you if you do get married. Amen. Amen. If you're married, you want a man that put God first. That's right. And you want a woman that put God first. Amen. If one have the Holy Ghost and the other don't, then the brother that have the Holy Ghost should not be even suggesting marriage to the sister that don't have it. Amen. Because the suggestion alone can give her hope. It's a distraction and then she'll be seeking the Lord for the wrong purpose. She'll be, I want the Holy Ghost. Why? I want to get married. That's right. No, I want the Holy Ghost so I can get into the kingdom. Amen. 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 What is your reason for seeking the Holy Ghost? Go ahead. What's your reason? Go ahead. I know the purpose that you got to have it, but what is your reason? That's right. Are you seeking the Lord because? The sister already have it. And you scared she gonna get away. Mm. And you want God to hurry up. Let me show you the method of Satan in your way of thinking. Mm. Oh, this is good. Amen. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, brother, mm -hmm. and there's a sister that do, Y'all was talking about marriage. You will find yourself anxious. And if you're not careful, you will be seeking God for the Holy Ghost just to hurry up to marry her. That's right. And what's going to happen in the midst of that anxiousness? The devil going to start dealing with your tongue. That's right. That's right. It's good teaching, brother. The spirit wow. of subtlety. Wow. The trickster, the serpent. He gonna slither his way right into your mouth and you gonna claim you have the Holy Ghost. And God gonna say, I'm not in that. That's right. That's not my fire. That's right. That's a strange, strange fire. fire. I don't sound like that. Go ahead. I don't work like that. Go ahead. I don't talk that kind of language. Go ahead, man. That's why I ask, how do you seek him? Mm. 
some of you seek the Holy Ghost to impress some woman, to try to prove to her that you can do this too. Right. Go ahead, brother. Some of you sisters do the same thing. You want to prove to him he, he's a good catch, well, mm. appear to be. And you're afraid that fish going to get away. Get away. So now you come in to every prayer meeting you can. <laughs> Before you met him, you wasn't. Before you met her, you wasn't faithful. Brother, mm. if a woman got to get on your case to make you come to church and you ain't married her, then sister, you're going to have to stay on this case to make them stay in the church. That's right. You have to be about God for yourself. Amen. Amen. Mm. So why are you seeking the Holy Ghost? And for whom are you seeking it for? Amen. Is it for yourself? Or is it to keep some girl? Or to keep some brother. And if you're doing it to try to keep them, you are never receiving. That's right. It's a wrong purpose. Wrong purpose. Wrong heart. Yeah. And you're not on one accord with God. That's right. That's right. You ain't hungry for the Holy Ghost. I'm hungry. You're hungry for him. Amen. Or you're hungry for her. Yeah. And when you find yourself more hungry for him, and her, then God, he became your God, became. and she became your goddess. That's right. Until if she leave and tip out of the church, you down there, Lord, you Lord, you Lord. You. <laughs> That's right. Where, where, where you going? Where, where, where you going? Why, why, where, where you going? Where? Who cares where she going? Boy. Why are you running after her? Amen. You're supposed to be running after God. That's right. That's right. That's right. So who are you seeking God for? For. Why are you seeking him? See, if a girl is involved or a brother is involved, and that's your motivation, you will never, 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 ever, ever, never, ever Amen. receive the Holy Ghost. Never. It's an insult to want anything. More than God. That's right. It's an insult. That's an insult. To want a man or a woman or a job more than God or equal to God. Amen. The Lord said, who is my, who is my equal? equal? Saith the Holy One. That's right. Who competes with him? Mm. Who can match steps with him? Amen. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. So who are you seeking God for? Yeah. You want the Holy Ghost? Yeah. Why? Why? It's a gift. That's right. No one is deserving of it. No. It is a gift. It's a gift. But why you want it? That's right. Teach it, teach it, teach it. It is a gift. Oh, yeah. But why do you want it? Amen. Well, I needed to get into the kingdom. Yeah, that's true. But why do you want it? Yeah. Mm. Because you know you needed to get in the kingdom. That doesn't mean you're seeking it for that purpose. Right. If I'm working on an auxiliary in the church, and my involvement in that auxiliary is so great until it's causing me to get more distracted, then I need to back out of the auxiliary. Amen. If I'm working on an auxiliary and I don't have the Holy Ghost and it's distracting me, I'm getting off. That's right. And going to the drawing board. Yes. Are you listening? Amen. Mm. Get to yourself. Oh, yes. And buckle down and seek God. Seek God. For the Holy Ghost. 
You young people in your teens and in your 20s, you get baptized, but you don't seek the Holy Ghost. And then some of you get attracted to a boy, and then, hold it, how is it that a boy can make you fast? Wow. Wow. Never hardly fast in your life, boy pop up. Will you fast with me? And you never even fast with, for yourself. <laughs> That's right. Girl pop up, will you fast with me? Oh, yeah. He had missed his gut for two days and won't even feel it. But never has fast for himself. Amen. Now, honesty. Brother, if you even see that, that sister wanting you more than God, mm. cut that relationship off. And she's not your wife, right. cut it off. Yeah. Because you should care about a person enough that you don't cause them to go to hell. Go ahead. And you don't willingly stand in their way. Right from receiving the Holy Ghost. That's right. I was in my wife's way. Yeah. We were in our early teens, but I was in her way, and I had sense enough to know it. I got out the way. Amen. Why? She needed God way more than she needed me. Amen. If she never married me, all right, as long as she was filled with God. That's right. She, if she filled with God and never have me, she would have the best thing. That's right. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. She would have the best thing. Wonderful. Are you listening? Amen. On the day of Pentecost, mm -hmm. they were with one accord. One accord. One place. One place. Now, the one accord is the focused yeah. mind and the focused heart. <clears throat> when the Apostle Peter preached to the Gentiles, it is written, while Peter yet spake the word. the word. I experienced that also. Yeah. The Holy Ghost fell on all them that heard the word. I experienced people receiving the Holy Ghost while we were preaching. Wow, that's right. While the word of God is preaching, spirit fall. Oh, yeah. But you got to be in tune to in that tune. word. Oh, yeah. Are you listening? In tune. To you that claim you have it, yeah. how do you know? Mm -hmm. How do you know? That's right. But Pastor Jennings, you know my attitude changed. That starts to change before you receive the Holy Ghost. That's right. That starts to change through teaching. Amen. Because teaching reforms the mind. Yeah. And when the mind start to change, the heart start to change, the body start to change, characteristics start to change. Oh, yeah. And you start to be transformed, taking on the characteristics of God before the Spirit of God oh, even come in you. That's true. Are you listening? That's true. Glory to, Glory to God. So you that say you have the Holy Ghost, how do you know? How do you know it? Do you know that's God speaking out of you? That's right. Because you got to know it for yourself. You got to know it. That's right. If the Holy Ghost is in me for real, mm -hmm. but yet it only deal with me when certain brothers speak. Go ahead. Am I right? That's right. That's right. It only deal with me when Todd speak. If it ain't Todd around, I don't feel nothing. Amen. Amen. Only deal with me when Harris speak. Yeah. If I don't see Harris, I'm, I'm stuck. stuck. I, I don't feel no life. You need the Holy Ghost. That's right. You don't have it. That's right. Amen. You don't have it? You don't have it. Mm -mm. No, no, you don't have it. No. You don't have it according to the words of God. No, no. Yes, mm -mm. The movement of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because someone have the Holy Ghost, that don't mean that God will speak in tongue in them as much as another person. That's true. 
In other words, you can't tell me how long I'm going to speak. That's right. Oh, when I received the Holy Ghost, I spoke all night. Okay, that's God business. That's right. That's God business. God business. God may speak through me for 15 minutes so I can sleep the rest of the night. But your Holy Ghost ain't better than mine. That's right. It ain't more important than mine. It's the same spirit. Hello, Lord. Take God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, movement of the Holy Ghost. The movement of the Holy Ghost is not just the quickening of a body. Some folks say, "Ooh, all that great spirit, how could you not feel the spirit and it was so high? Who said they didn't? Go ahead. What is your measuring stick of feeling the spirit? That's right. Only when someone speak mm -hmm. or when someone shake, right. God can move on the heart That's right. without the body pivoting in any direction. That's right. Huh? That's right. God, I say, Amen. can move on the heart. Amen. The heart can quicken without the body moving. That's right. The Bible said, while Peter spake the word, mm -hmm. they were pricked. Pricked in the heart. Pricked. Pricked. Right. Pricked. Right. In the heart. In the heart. In the heart. He was preaching. That's right. The heart was pricked. That's it. God quickened that heart. That's right. God was dealing with the heart. That's right. Don't you hear him say, did not our heart burn? Go to take us. us. While he had spake with us. That's right. That's right. God dealing with the heart. With the heart. Hallelujah. Go ahead. To you that been tarrying long, waiting long. No minister from nowhere, mm -hmm. no brother or sister mm -hmm. have the right to tell you, oh, you've been tarrying 10 years. You ain't been doing nothing. You should have been had it. Who are you to tell me? That's right. There ain't no preacher got that kind of authority. That's right. If the Holy Ghost is a gift, Amen. I can't make myself speak. No. I have to wait. Amen. Wait. Until God give it. That's right. While I'm waiting. While you're waiting. I have to keep talking to him. That's right. Just hallelujah. Just keep talking to him. That's right. While I'm waiting. While you're just waiting. keep talking to him. That's right. If I wait 20 years. Amen. I got to keep talking to him. You don't have the right to tell me I should have been had it. That's right. Because it took you five years. That's you. That's you. You can't speak for God. No, no. You waited five years. Holy Ghost given is God's business. That's right. It's God's business. God, that's right. The Spirit is not given by measure. By measure. So He gives it to whomsoever He will, yes, where He will, yeah. when, he will when He will, how He will. That's right. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. That's right. Are you listening? Now, while you're waiting, you're going to get weary. <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, yes. Holy Ghost, talk about that. Amen. You'll get weary. You'll get weary. While you're waiting. Oh, yeah. And it is written, they that wait upon the Lord mm -hmm. shall renew their strength. He shall look at him, look at him, just stepping in, letting you know he's there all the time. But they that wait. Do you hear? In Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. They that wait. Upon the Lord. Not upon your girlfriend. No. Not upon your boyfriend. No, no. Amen. I don't want no Holy Ghost that only deal with me when I see him. <laughs> That's right. Suppose he die. That's right. In trouble. If he die, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm out of the loop. <laughs> That's right. They that wait upon the Lord. Are you waiting for him? Amen. How? How? You're waiting for him? How? While you're waiting on God, 
You must, if you notice in the first chapter of Acts before they received the Holy Ghost, it says these all continue, all continue. in supplication and in prayer. With the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. When you wait on the Lord, you don't, it isn't that you're waiting doing nothing. Right. It's like a person, Lord, bless me to get a job, but you ain't never looking. Amen. Well, I ain't got to look. Uh, he said, seek. Seek. You know, and you, you're fine. You're fine. Not just ask. Mm -hmm. You got to do some looking. That's you got right. some work to do, too. That's right. That's right. All right, listen. But they that wait upon the Lord. But they that wait upon the Lord. Shall renew their strength. Now, strength don't need renewed if it's already at this full height. That's right. The renewing of strength because one is weary. Yeah. And they need some help. They need a boost. Boost. In the midst of your waiting to be filled with the Holy Ghost, don't become over anxious that then you claim something you don't have. Amen. See, a lot of folk don't have the Holy Ghost, but yet they got a lot of movement. That's true. A lot of shaking. <laughs> That's right. But never speak in tongue. Never, never speak. Just shake. <laughs> That's right. You can move all you want. Yeah. The dry bones moved in the days of Ezekiel. Amen. But it took the word to make them move. That's right. That's why he said, prophesy to them. Prophesy. Speak to them. Yeah. What do you mean? It takes the message to bring you together oh, yeah. and stand you up on your feet and dress you up. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. They that do what? They that wait upon the Lord. What God will do. Shall renew their strength. Glory to God. God will renew your strength until you feel like what? They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Oh, here, yeah, elevate you. Amen. Mm. Mount up with wings as what? As eagles. When the eagle begin to soar, he's flying over his problems. Wonderful. And he's flying over his distractions. That's right. So when you waiting on the Lord, God will bless you to mount up. That None. thing that used to distract you, you waiting on God here, elevate you. Elevate you. Just like one get wings of the eagle, that means he'll rise you above Wonderful. the situation. Amen. Yeah? Amen. What else? They shall run. What? They shall run. Amen. First they was tired. Yeah. Now they Hallelujah. feel like keep going. That's right. Hmm? Amen. Got this carriage? Amen. They're coming back again. Coming back. See, the devil wants to defeat you. And the first thing that he defeats, if when he's successful, is your desire. Yeah. When a person's desire leaves, they don't feel like doing nothing no more. That's right. When your desire leaves, and you don't seek the Holy Ghost. You see, many of us were seeking the Holy Ghost good mm -hmm. until we met him and her yeah. and it and them. Amen. We hung around a crowd that distract us. Yeah. Got hooked up around the wrong people. It distract us. Oh, yeah. College education is good, and I encourage all of our young people to pursue it and get the highest degree in a profession that God is not against. Yeah. But don't lose focus on God. God is first. That's right. Try turning your TVs off. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Amen. Here we got churches around the world. I don't walk around the house with my cell phone on. Ain't no need for me to do. For what? Yeah. Some of you young people spend more time at a cell phone, get a text and retrieve one more than all the time you spit on your knees. Amen. Never pick up the Bible. You don't even know what Genesis 1 and 1 say. <laughs> Some of you can't even find Acts 2.38. That's bad. That's bad. Can't even find the book of Psalms. Amen. They think Psalms is a hymn. <laughs> Your interest is in the wrong Amen. thing. Amen. Amen. 
in the midst of your fast, you argue, you fuss, you fight, you debate. Right. But yet you're supposed to be seeking the Lord. That's right. What Where, kind of fast is this? Wherefore have we fasted, say they? Listen at the prophet. In Isaiah chapter 58 and at verse 3. Wherefore have we fasted, say they? Wherefore have we fasted, say they? And thou seest not. And then you don't see. Wherefore have we afflicted our soul? And thou takest no knowledge. Brothers and sisters, are you too busy to seek the Lord? Are you too busy mm. how do we get so busy in this life yeah. that what we're doing is more important than seeking God do you not see the chaos of the world Amen. is not the Lord closer today closer. than he was yesterday oh yeah but how much more closer are you to God? That's right. Are you listening? Amen. How much more closer are you? Reds, get out of that hallway talking. Come in here. In fact, all of you out there talking. I'm, I'm, I'm talking. It ain't two messages. Keep your foot when you come to God's house and be more ready to hear when you give the sacrifice of fools. For you can sit or not that you do evil. Amen. My God, what I'm giving you is to keep you out of hell. That's right. Listen to what the book said. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Now, ask yourself. Why you don't see no results in your fast? Amen. What is your reason for fasting? Amen. And how are you going about pursuing what you want? Right. What is your reason for your fast? And how are you going about the fast? Amen. Why would you fast with anybody and you don't even hardly fast for yourself? If I'm going to ask somebody to fast with me, you got to be prayerful. That's right. I don't want you just not eating. You ain't fasting with me. That's you right. just not eating and you ain't praying. Amen. Fast and prayer go together like faith and works. That's right. That's right. You going to fast with me, but you ain't doing no praying. There ain't no fast. No, no. You're just missing a meal. That's all. Go ahead, man. When you fast, go ahead. You're prayerful. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. Are you gonna believe God for something and no works? Faith without works is what? Yeah. Yeah. There's a way to fast. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Are Amen. you listening? Amen. Listen. Wherefore have we fasted, say they? How did we fast, say they? And thou seest not. And you don't see nothing. nothing. Have you ever fasted a long time and you ain't seen no results? No results. Have you ever asked why? Amen. The question is right here in the book. He asked the question. Wherefore have we fasted, Wherefore say they? Wherefore have you fasted, say they? And thou seest and not. you don't see nothing. Amen. Ask yourself. How are you fasting? How, How are, you are you doing it? Stop looking at fasting as just not eating and that's it. Right. You got to watch what you say, where you go, what you're doing, why you're doing it. Your whole actions will justify your fast or contaminate your fast. Your actions that make your fast worthwhile or your actions that make your fast worth nothing. My Lord. Mm, go ahead, go ahead. Can't fast and fornicate. No, you can't. Talk to me. Yeah. Preach it, brother. You gonna fast Friday and tongue her down Saturday? Talk to me. Yeah. There ain't no fast. 
Uh, you go on fast and you on a cell phone all day, all night. That's no fast. Go ahead, go ahead. You fasting, you ain't got to call her to find out how are you making on your fast. Don't you worry about that. You focus on yourself. Go ahead. That's what the Holy Ghost brought to you tonight. Amen. The Lord is coming and we are not ready. Not ready. We are not ready. Go ahead, brother. Not even fasting right. Mm. Many of us saying we want the Holy Ghost, but we don't feel a longing for it. When you want the Holy Ghost, you feel a longing. I mean, when you really want it. You're starving. Go ahead. Starving. That's it. You don't have the Holy Ghost. Why you ain't dissatisfied? Why you're not dissatisfied? Why you don't feel no dissatisfaction? You don't have the Holy Ghost. Why you feel so comfortable at ease? Why you don't feel no dissatisfaction? Why it don't bother you? Well, it bothered me. How bad? Real bad. Bad enough to do what about it? Go ahead. Go ahead. Every time you got an answer, I'm coming back with a question. <laughs> That's right. Bad enough to do what? What are you willing to give up to receive it? Who are you willing to give up to receive it? What are you willing to give up to receive it? Because heaven and earth is going to pass away. But the Holy Ghost, it shall not pass. That's right. Holy Ghost is God. Man, you can't be turned for the Holy Ghost and knocking her up. No way. Then testify. Pray for me. I receive the Holy Ghost. Liar. Go ahead. You don't even want it. Go ahead. You chase down her legs more than you pursue the Holy Ghost. You the liar. Preach it, man. The Lord says, he that hunger and thirst after righteousness, if your appetite is more for him or her than God, it's easy to tell. Look who you pursue more. That's right. Look who take up your time more. Is it God? Is it church? Go ahead. Go ahead. There ain't nobody coming back for us but the Lord. It's the Lord. No man, no woman, no money, no job, nothing is coming back for you but God. Amen. One day, the death angel going to visit you as an individual. That's right. And whatever state of mind you're in, he's going to catch you there. Whatever state of mind your heart is in, he's going to catch you there. Go ahead, man. You want the Holy Ghost? Leave him alone. You want the Holy Ghost? Leave her alone. Amen. The Bible said, let them alone. Let them alone. Go ahead, man. When he, when he leave church, you leave church. When she come to church, you come to church. You're so messed up. So jacked up. Amen. He and she is on your mind more than the Holy Ghost. Amen. Who is your God? I love my wife. But for God, I give her up quicker than I can spit. Go ahead. Not even a second thought. God was to tell me, true, he ain't got to finish his statement because I've been made my choice. <laughs> I made my choice before I met her. Right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Marriage should not challenge your walk with God. Amen. 
Go ahead, brother. You walk with God now, sincere, focused, and you got a wife and now all of a sudden you ain't focused? You got a husband and now you ain't focused because you're so wrapped up into him or her. Right. You're scared to lose them, but yet you see yourself losing God and you don't tremble. That's right. You see yourself getting weaker and weaker. Don't even feel the spirit like you used to. Holy Ghost don't speak your tongue through you like you used to. And you just as comfortable and walk around, la, 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 la. It don't phase you at all. Amen. But let that woman threaten to, threaten to leave you. You gonna do what? You, you gonna do what? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait a minute. But yet, the Holy Ghost is leaving you. You don't ask God, where are you going? That's right. Where are you going? That's right. I right. can't feel you. Amen. Amen. You haven't spoke through me in five years. Amen. Where are you? You don't, hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, hallelujah. Amen. You don't say nothing. Hallelujah. You have gotten comfortable. Amen. Woe unto them ease. that's ease in Zion. You have been professing the Holy Ghost five, 10, 15 years Amen. when the last time you spoke. Some of us was taught by these fake apostolic hypocrites right. that all you got to do is speak once. once. Ain't never got to speak again. That's a lie. That's a lie. Jesus said, these, these times shall follow. Shall follow. That believe. Follow. Follow. Them that believe. They shall speak. I'm a believer. Right. I got to speak sometimes. That's right. I'm a believer. That's right. I got to talk sometimes. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. That's right. I'm a believer. Amen. Amen. And if I'm a believer, God That's right. is going to talk through me. Yes, he will. God yes, he is going to deal with me. Right. God is going to speak through me. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. He got to do it. Got to do it. These Time follow shall follow. follow, follow, follow. That's right. Follow, follow, follow. follow. Amen. Five, ten, fifteen years, Amen. and you don't feel nothing. Nothing. Haven't felt this since 1945. Amen. Haven't felt this since the Korean War. My Lord. Haven't felt it since your bishop died. Amen. If I die, and you that claim you got the Holy Ghost, yeah. this Holy Ghost ain't dealing with you no more. No more. It's because you ain't never had it. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. If I die, Go ahead. God Go ahead. still lives. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. God still lives. If I lay my bed in hell, God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. God is there. If I die, God still moves. God still, moves. God still works. That's right. God still speaks. Right. Holy Ghost is still given. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wonderful teacher. Wonderful. This Holy Ghost you feel. Wonderful teaching, brother. Just when you see me. Wonderful teaching. If there's anybody like that. Amen. You ain't got it from heaven. No, no. Some of you, your bishop, your former bishop died. Amen. And you ain't felt God since. <laughs> the Bible said the comforter. Comforter. Will come. Go ahead. The comfort is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Go ahead, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I die, go ahead, man. There ain't a justifiable reason for one of you to backslide. That's right. Huh? Not a reason. That's right. Doesn't matter how much pain you feel, how hurt you are. You want God to raise up another, 
You got to seek him. Because if you die, I ain't backsliding. That's right. I can't afford to, nor can you. That's right. Your priorities is messed up. How you listen to the old man? Good teaching, brother. How are you seeking the Lord? And who are you seeking him for? What are you seeking God to get? To get. To gain. Who do you want? Mm. Well, Pastor Dennis, the Bible said, better marry than burn, man. I'm tired of burning, bro. Bro. Tired of burning, bro. <laughs> bro. Tired of burning, bro. I understand that. <laughs> it's still written. Seek ye first, first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. righteousness. Bruh, That's seek right. God first. God can contain that fire. Amen. You can do it. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. It's good teaching. Man. What do you want from God? How are you seeking him? How bad do you want him? Who do you want more? God or that brother? God or that woman? Amen. God or that money? Yeah. God or that fame? Mm. God or that recognition. That's right. God or that wealthy contract. Amen. Who do you want more? Who do you want more? You have to get to a point in God that there is no competition in your life. Nothing can compete. Nobody can compete. Think of it, being so sound, being so firm, being so solid, being so strong that nobody can compete. Amen. Go ahead. Doesn't matter how much money he got, what car and car he drive. He cannot even entice you away from God. That's right. He can't pull you out the church. Can't pull you out. She can't switch you out the church. That's right. Get to a point in God where you can say, you will never backslide. Never backslide. You will never leave him. Never. Think of it. You get to a point in God where you're sound, you're strong, you're firm enough and solid enough and have enough divine experience where you can say, I will never leave him. Never leave him. I will never backslide. Even if I get weak, Amen. I will never backslide. I'd rather get weak than leave God. Leave God. Because if I'm weak, he said, let me say I'm strong. That's right. But if I leave him, he called me a dog. Dog. That goes to the vomit. That's right. That's right. Pink. Some of you here have the Holy Ghost and backslid. But you was taught by some no good rotten liar. Once saved, always saved. If that was true, I wouldn't be here tonight. Not, not tonight. God stay with you mm -hmm. on terms. On terms. One save, always save is a myth. That's a myth. It's a myth. That's right. It's a fable. Yeah. Because God ain't never told nobody that. No. Give me Second Chronicles. Chapter 15. Chapter 15. And start at verse 1. Everybody all right? Amen. Time is it, brother. 11.30? All right. Come on, son. And the Spirit of Give God. Give chapter and verse again. Second Chronicles chapter 15 and at the first verse. What is it? And the Spirit of God. That's what's missing in the pulpit today. 
Amen. The Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Listen closely. The Spirit of God came upon Azariah, came upon the, son Azariah the son of Oded. And he went out, and to, he meet went Asa, out to meet Asa and said, and unto said me, to Asa, Hear ye me, Asa. Hear ye me, Asa. And all and Judah. All Jerusalem. And Benjamin. Listen at the terms. The Lord is with you. How? While ye be with him. Amen. You left him. That's right. You left him. Why do you think we're telling you to stay with God? <clears throat> That's right. If your husband leave you, it may hurt. Well, it'll hurt some of you. Some of you. <laughs> I have to put it that way. Amen. Because in some cases, the husband leave. <laughs> hallelujah! Hallelujah! They glad he's gone. Free at last. Thank God I'm out of here. Glory to God. Amen. That's the truth of it. Amen. Everybody don't cry when he leave. No. Everybody don't cry when she leave. That's right. Mm -hmm. The Lord is with you. Look at the terms. The Lord is with you. On what terms? While ye be with him. What else he said? And if ye seek him. And if you seek him. He will be found of you. And what else? But. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. But, this will contradict what your pastor been telling you. That's right. Once save, always save. Use a liar. That's, that's why right. you out there partying, drinking, smoking, gambling, remarrying, divorcing, and living together, not married, because some good for nothing low life that you have as your Jerry Curl head pastor told you once save, always save. Yeah. That's a lie. That's a lie. Do you hear the terms? But if but you, if you forsake him, if you leave the Lord, he will forsake you. Amen. That's a promise. The Lord said, "What if you forsake him? You when you forsake something, you leave it. That's right. You leave him, he will forsake you. Amen. That's right. Mm. One save, always save." Well, that teaching is very convenient for you to go to the club. Very convenient. Because you think you're saving it. That's right. Oh, yeah, you think you're saving it. And then you hide under some song, please be patient with me. <laughs> That's right. God ain't through with me yet. <laughs> yeah, please. That's what How you say. know God ain't through with you? That's what they saying. Do you know God can be through with you while you're living? While you're living. It is written that he gave them over to a reprobated mind. Right. When you got a reprobated mind, that means God is through with you he's, while you live. He's through with you. He done gave you over to Satan. That's right. That's what the Apostle Paul did, did to Alexander and Hermenius. Mm -hmm. He said, Alexander the carpet said, wrote me much trouble. Mm -hmm. I have delivered Alexander and Hermenius into to Satan, Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. That's right. He turned them over to the devil while they was living, before the day of judgment. That's right. Because he said they wrote him much evil. Much evil. He turned them over to the devil. Mm. And that was before the coming of the Lord. That's true. So when someone tell you, well, God can't give you up, that's a lie. God, that's he never told you that. He never said he that. He speak plain here. The, the, the Lord is the with Lord you. The Lord is with you on what term? While ye be with him. Why did you leave him? That's right. Backslider, let me talk to you tonight. Why did you leave the Lord? Hmm. Was she that good? Hmm. Was he that good? Did you love the money that much? Did you love your house that much? Go ahead. Was you that dedicated to the job? You couldn't pass up that contract. Why did you leave the Lord? Wow. What did you swap God for? You swap God for. Was her hips that good? Mm. Was her legs that shapely? Was her breast assistance that good? <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, man. Was this performance in bed? Did it blow your mind that much? That much. That you left the Lord for a piece of dirt? Go ahead. Talk to me. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Who did you swap God for? You just swap God. What will a man give? Mm -hmm. An exchange. When you exchange, you swap. Swap. What did you swap God out for? Amen. Swap. 
Swap them out. Hey, brother, why you swap God out for a man? Amen. Mm. Amen. Am I right? Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Mm. Pastor Jennings, I backslid because I saw so much stuff in the church, I couldn't take it no more. Right. That excuse won't fly with God. No, it won't. That's not going to fly. You're going to see stuff in the church all the days of your life. Yes, you will. God says, stand fast. That's right. Wherefore, in the liberty... Wherewith Christ has made you free yeah. and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Yeah. God ain't gonna buy that. No. God says stay with him. Stay with him. Hmm? That's right. His honor, Jesus wasn't gonna take that. No. His honor, the judge. His honor. He's not gonna accept that. No. Hmm. Pastor Jenny wasn't nobody in the church right but me. Use a lie. That's a lie. Then you should have stayed there and got everybody else right. If you had that much power that everybody was wrong but you, then you should have stayed there and converted the whole pulpit Amen. and everybody else. Everybody in it. You walked out on them. You left the sheep lost. Amen. What you talking? Amen. What did you swap God for? Did you swap God away? Was your position that persuasive? Did you love your car that much? That you sold out on God for an <laughs> engine? An engine. Did you sell out on God for <laughs> a position? Because somebody promised you a position. Balak promised Balaam position and wealth. And wealth. Promised him. Even took him to different places to offer sacrifices. You know, give a person a change of environment, hoping right. that change would influence him. But every time hmm. Balaam got to a location, God dealt with him. Mm -hmm. He said, I, Balaam, the son of Beor, falling into a trance, having my eyes open, saw the vision of the Almighty and had the knowledge of the Most High. He said, Behold, I shall see him, but not now. I shall look upon him, but not nigh. He said, A star shall come out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of Seth. Mm -hmm. He said, Behold, I shall see him, but not now. I shall look upon him, but not nigh. A star shall come out of Jacob, star. and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, That's right. and it's going to smite the corners of Moab. That's right. He was steadfast. Yes, he, was. he said, if you fill this house with silver and gold, and gold, I cannot go beyond the word of the Lord to do more or less. Can you be bought? Mm. You know, there's a saying, everybody got a price. That's what they say. That saying don't work here. Amen. This ain't nothing but a saying to me, Jack. Amen. Everybody got a price. You got to be mighty cheap if you for sale. Yeah. I ain't got no price. You can't buy me. Can't buy you out. You can't offer me nothing. Wonderful. I'm the term. Hallelujah. I'm determined to stay with God until God come for the world or till I go to the grave. Amen. Wonderful. What would you swap God for? What would you change God out for? And what have you swapped God for? Is it your new car? Is it your house? Were you faithful coming to church until you got the house that you wanted? Mm. Were you faithful when you was riding your bike to church? But then you got your Cadillac, you rode by the church. Right by it. You pull up to the church. You know, everybody can't get a new car and stay humble. That's right. You know, they, want, they want everybody to compliment them. They want folk to see how they look. And you're deliberately just speeding down the road, showing off, you fool. That's right. You're so foolish. That's right. Like you're the only one drive a car in the world. You're a fool. That's a fool. A show-off fool. A grown, <laughs> immature fool. Yeah. When you die, everybody here, you might as well understand how many here is ready to die. Mm. 
got all them cigarettes and beer and you go to your false church and cut the devil and look at your preacher screaming and yelling full of that devil out of hell in him Amen. and to hell he's on his way yeah you look at your drunken quartet groups with the fingertips all brown from joint That's and right. cigarettes and when they sit down there's a whole atmosphere of liquor smell up here Amen. Hmm? A cloud of liquor. How bad do you want God? What do God mean to you? What is his value to you? How bad do you want him? This is a good thinking, heart searching message. Oh yeah. Many of you brothers that don't have the Holy Ghost are overzealous and you walk around quoting a bunch of scriptures that ain't going to get you in. I don't care if you quote so much scriptures, it start to be engraved on your gums. <laughs> Every time you smile, scriptures is on your teeth. You're so foolish. You think the way it is, they just quote Bible, quote Bible, quote no, Bible. Like you that. ain't impressing nobody. In fact, you're not even impressing the devil because he understands what you quote. And you That's don't. Right. That's right. Think of it this way. The devil been where we're trying to get. Trying to get. He, already, he already been up there. Already was there. And was put out. Yeah. We ain't been up there. Amen. Are you ready to meet the Lord? Hmm. Well, Pastor Jennings, I know I'm ready. Why? Well, I go to church every Sunday. What kind? There I go questioning you again. What kind of church is it? What kind of church? Well, it's a church. It's a Christian church. What's their religion? Well, Christianity. You're in the devil's church. <laughs> That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. All of you here tonight that are Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Catholic, Mormon, Muslim, Jehovah Witness, yeah. Pentecostal, yeah. non-denominational, apostolic. Go ahead. You got something that's not in the Bible. Not in the scriptures. None of that stuff is in the Bible. None of it's in there. And yet, all those religions have stole teachings from the Bible. From the Bible. You think you're going into heaven being a Baptist? You're on your way to hell. On your way. Have you noticed I didn't stutter when I said that? No, you didn't. You're on your way to hell. On your way. That's right. Why? Jesus wasn't a Baptist. How did you become one? Amen. Why would you be something Jesus is not? And you go in the Baptist church every Sunday. Did Jesus do that? Hmm. Did Jesus go to the Baptist church? Did Jesus go and uh, become a Catholic? Become, became a Catholic. You in the closet. You ain't safe in there with a priest. No, you're not. No way. No, no. Very dangerous. As, thi as thin as that screen is. Where that God here come all through that screen. Yes, he will. Oozing all through that screen like the <laughs> devil. You ain't safe. Not safe. There's quite a bit of folks that used to be Catholics here that heard the word of God. Yeah. Repented of these sins and went down in water in the name of Jesus Christ and received the Holy Ghost and they deserted the Pope. That's right. They deserted him. <laughs> Amen. We believe what the word of God said. That's it. Holy. Amen. New year is approaching. And many of you are not saved. not saved. Some of you is here tonight because you watch me on television and you want to see my, what I look like in person. I'm the same. <laughs> or it take God, but they ain't no good. <laughs> many no good. folk, by the thousands, I travel around the world. Pastor Jennings, I watch you every night. Yeah. That's good. But what you going to do about what is preached? You're watching me ain't gonna save you. You got to obey what I'm preaching. That's right. You got to obey what I'm preaching. That's right Got to do it. You can watch it every night. That's a greater condemnation 
Because the more you watch, the more you learn. The more you learn. And yet you're not doing nothing. Right. Are you ready to meet the Lord? Are you ready? ready. Mm. Seek the Holy Ghost. Seek the Lord. With sincerity. The evidence of the Holy Ghost is speaking in other tongues. Mm -hmm. Don't just be sincere for tonight. Right. And then by tomorrow, you forgot you was ever in service. That's right. Just like you go to school and get that lesson, and you remember you got a test, you got an exam, and all that stuff. You buckle down. That's if you're concerned about your grades. Yeah. Well, I'm concerned about my grade. The Bible said, who hath believed our report? Report. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? That's right. I'm concerned about my greed. Amen. I can't make it 99. Mm -hmm. There's a song they sing, isn't it? 99 and a half won't do. But do you believe it? Some of us don't even have 99. We like 50 is possible. 30 and <laughs> No scores. Some of us it, it, it don't even have a zero. Amen. What did God say? Less than nothing. I mean, it's less than nothing. No zero, nothing. Just blank. Blank. You better make your calling and election short tonight. Oh, yeah. God is warning all of you seekers. Oh, and yeah. God is warning all of you that claim you have them. That's right. Many of us now is swapping God. Swapping God out. For materialism. Don't misunderstand me. It's not a sin to have material things. The sin is when those material things have you. That's, right. That's why the devil sent men like T.D. Jakes and Creflo O'Dara and Benny Hinn and Fred Price and Mara Sorella right. and Joel Austin. All these worthless false prophets got one message. Prosperity, money, and well, God ain't never sent a man to teach you how to get rich. No. God sent men to teach you how to get right. That's right. Not get rich, get it right. Amen. If God make you rich, fine. fine. Some folks say, Pastor Jennings, I'm praying that God make me rich. All right. Question is, can you handle it? Can you handle it? See, if you're not rich and what little money the Lord bless you with and you're already robbing him, you know you are just, you can't handle it. Right. If you're already testing the waters and, 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 and pinching off, just pinching off. Got a roll in your pocket almost can choke a cow. Just pinching off. Brother, come by to, to take your offering. He almost got a tug. <laughs> Don't want to let George go. Got a whole row, hundreds and fifties and twenties. Just keep moving back, moving back, moving back, moving. Back, moving. Oh, oh, George, there you are. Hey. Let me teach you something, family. Everything you have belongs to God. Yeah. Everything. Amen. Everything. If you don't believe me, you name one thing you have you can take with you. When you die, you, leave, you even leave your socks behind. Even your socks. <laughs> That's right. Got a drawer full of old dirty socks. You left them behind. Left them behind. Your underwear left behind. And your, your, your belt. All your car keys, your car, everything, yes, all, right. all that stuff you praised. Now you land in the box. Praised. Mm. Huh? That's right. And somebody else drove your car to your funeral. <laughs> you can't come back. Get out of my car. You can't. Somebody drove your car, your keys, and got on your suit. Wearing your shoes. That's right. You're so silly. Nothing you can do about it. You're so foolish. 
your priorities is so backward. Yeah. What doeth a man mm -hmm. give in exchange, in exchange for a soul. soul? What will a man give? Hmm. Why would you lose your soul for what? What is worth losing your soul for? Who can tell me? Do you know your love supposed to be so great before the Lord? Nothing should be able to challenge your love for him. That's right. Your love for God is supposed to go unchallenged, unchallenged. unrivaled, unmatched. Right. Sister, ain't no brothers, no, no man should be able to come in church that looks so good that you he pull you right out. Pull you out. I don't care how come here, Sister Jennings. Come here. I don't care how much this fella shout, and he just come and just shouting all around you. <laughs> it doesn't matter. When he done, he should not be able to scoop you up and take you on out of here. Take you out. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. I'm telling you this because I've seen it happen with my own eyes. I've seen it happen. I've seen men come among God people and pretend that they had the Holy Ghost. And because the sister wouldn't wait to learn God, she was so anxious. Wouldn't take counsel. Got married and they both out there in the world. My Lord. She had the Holy Ghost and lost it. He never had it and pretend. And you got to walk with God long enough where you can identify the tongue from his tongue. That's right. You got to know he got the goods. That's right. You got to know she got the goods. Amen. Man, just because she's moving on me, she got the spirit. <laughs> All that backpedaling. Back <laughs> huh? Hallelujah. Are you listening? Hallelujah. I mean, he got the Holy Ghost. Doesn't matter if that brother run like me. That's all right. Keep running. That's right. I don't mean they got the Holy Ghost. I don't mean that. Hereby know we the spirit of truth mm -hmm. <laughs> and the spirit of error. Elijah said, the Lord gonna pass by. Yeah. The rocks rent. Fire came. Fire came. But you know the prophet wasn't moved. You know what he said? <laughs> no, it wasn't. God ain't in the fire. <laughs> oh, God ain't in the wind. He ain't in the wind. He wasn't impressed. No, he wasn't. That small, still voice started talking. He came on out and wrapped his face in the mantle. Speak, Lord! It's wonderful. Thy servant is here. Do you know who's talking? Do you know who's moving you? Moving. All this is important. Well, Pastor Jenny, that's too much to think about before I get married. Stop thinking about marriage and focus on God. Listen, I know from experience, if you seek God first, God will act. He said it. He said he would do seek it. Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. I sought God first. I sought God first to the degree that if I got married, fine. And if I didn't get married, fine. Right. To me, God was more important then, and he's more important now. Amen. I want to teach you with God's help to prioritize. If your lust for other things exceed your want for God, it'll choke the word it'll out of the you. Word. And you will become unfruitful. That's right. The Bible said when the lust of other things it's entered in, it choked, it choked the, word. the word. And they became what? Unfruitful. Some of you here are exchanging the Lord for things. Yes, you are. Oh, yeah. Some of you are doing it now. Some of you have already done it. Mm. Backslider, 
The Lord says he's married to you. Married to you. Do you know what that means, backslider? That means he's obligated to bring you back to him. That's right. So backslider, as long as you got breath, God has given you a chance by warning you. That's right. That's right. He see you out there smoking and drinking and acting like a fool, and you know you know better. Mm. So he keep you living. Nothing but an act of mercy. That's all. Won't cut you off while you're out there acting like a fool. Disrespecting him. Contaminating your temple with cigarettes and liquor and joint mm -hmm. and crack and whiskey. Amen. Defiling yourself Defiling. with a bunch of men and a bunch of women. Mm -hmm. Selling your soul for a trick. That's right. Am I right, I said? So you're out there in the world now, but yet watching the telecast every week, God is warning you. He's warning you. <laughs> Marriage to the backslider mean why you got life, brother and sister. He's giving you a chance to come back to him. Well, Pastor Jennings, what a, black, a backslider got to do? The Bible says this, if a brother be overtaken in a fault, Ye which are spiritual. Ye which are spiritual. Restore such an one. Restore such a one. In the spirit of meekness. In the spirit of meekness. Considering thyself. And then the one that's doing the restoration got to consider himself. Lest thou also Lest be tempted. Lest he be tempted. In other words, when he restored that sinner, that backslider, he can't think he's better than them. Right. He, can't, he, he can't pray over Sin. them. He's high minded. That's right. He can't. He got to consider himself. Considering that. Lest he end up in the same predicament as the one now he's praying for. That's right. So not only are we calling for you that have never walked with God and have never repented of your sins and was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, but we're calling for you that once was born again. And now you're a backslider. Living together with somebody that's not your husband. And somebody that's not your wife. Mm -hmm. You done divorced and remarry and divorced and remarry. And now you love that woman and that man more than you love God. Yeah. That's why you hate to give them up. Mm -hmm. Pastor Jennings, I know it's true, but, but, but. But what? But what? Pastor Jennings, man, I've been with her 25 years. But don't you want to be with God throughout eternity? Yeah. Amen. Anyone that got a mind to walk with God, you got to give up something. Oh, yeah. And the Lord our God made it clear. Mm -hmm. He said, choose ye this day. Yeah. Didn't he? Yes, he did. Choose ye this day. Whom you will serve. Whom you going to serve. He said, if God be God. Serve him. Serve him. Mm -hmm. but if, if the devil be God. Serve him. Serve him. Serve you make your choice. You, one old man used to say, you're the boss. You're the boss. God bless your soul forever. That's right. You'll understand. Mm -hmm. Bible said they that have not heard shall understand. shall understand. Stop selling your soul out for liquor. Stop riding around looking for hoes. <laughs> Go ahead. I can't, he, I can't believe he said that. You don't say that when you see it on the news, do you? Go ahead. Why you don't say that when Anderson Cooper said? You don't say it when Wolf Blitzer said. <laughs> I'm a reporter. That's right. I work for Jesus. You're working for Jesus. The word of God is my newspaper. That's right. Extra, extra. Read all about it. All about it. Stop riding around late at night looking for a two dollar hoe. <laughs> two dollar hoe. Very cheap. <laughs> Amen. 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 Mm. Respect yourself. Used to be a song they sung in the world when I came up. Respect yourself. 
If you don't respect yourself, ain't no one going to give a hoot about you. <laughs> respect yourself. That's right. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> respect yourself. <laughs> you better respect yourself. Oh, yeah. Let the hoe go. Let her, let her go. Let the hoe go. Let then you go. won't need prayer for syphilis and gonorrhea and crabs. You don't need to be delivered from the clap. Huh? That's right, sir. Clapping flesh. <laughs> huh? That's right. Clap when you walk. All <laughs> oh, that noise like a cricket. <laughs> somebody think there's a cricket in their yard. There's somebody out there with the clap. Clap. Let the hole go. Let it go. Come on out the club. Come on out the strip club. That's something I can never understand. How a man can work all week long and Friday he's left with no money because he went to a club to look at some naked woman, shake her behind coming down a pole and walking down the aisle like a cat and then gonna give him a lap dance and now he need to get some car fare to go home. To get home. I don't understand, I, I, don't, I don't get that. Amen. All she did was bend over and shook her behind in your face and you took that money, make it rain. <laughs> Made it rain. Just throwing it. <laughs> Don't even care where it land. And then when it's over. <laughs> Am I right, men? See, many of you can bear witness because some of you used to do that. Is that right? Sure you did. I don't look down on you, but if you still sneak into the club, come out. Imagine God give you a massive heart attack mm. right there while she's bucked up in your face. <laughs> huh? All bent over, you just. <sighs> she's still shaking. And you dead. And when your spirit come out your body, your spirit going to see where it used to be and see her shaking, and your spirit is the knowledge that's in there. Right. See, your spirit is what holds the knowledge. That's right. So when your knowledge come out, Go ahead. it's aware. Oh God, I'm on my way to hell. Your knowledge come out. Go ahead. Your alertness, your awareness, it lodges in your spirit. Because your spirit is in your body. That's right. And the word said the body without the spirit is what? Dead. All that comes out. The last thing you saw before the Lord took you was a lap dance. A lap dance. You wouldn't want that on your record. The Bible said men have went out of their wits. Wits for women. For women. For women. I thought of the woman, uh, what was it, the for her birthday. And uh, I don't know what kind of dance she done. The Bible don't say. In the days of John the Baptist. This woman done a dance. Done a dance. It wasn't no lap dance back then to my <laughs> knowledge. But whatever she done. Whatever she she put it on the king. She put it on the king so bad. The king offered her half, half of, his, of kingdom. his kingdom. Half of his kingdom. Didn't he do so? That's right. How much power do a dance have? Half of it. I was preaching that one day and one brother yelled, Pastor Jim, you don't understand. I said, what is it to understand? Shake, rattle, and roll, and you're broke. <laughs> Shake, rattle, and roll, you're broke. That's right. You mean to tell me a woman can dance and bankrupt you? Mm -hmm. And when a convenient day has come, a woman can dance and now you ain't got no money to buy milk for your baby? You ain't got food to put on the table of your family all because a woman danced? 
Do you see how ignorant and foolish you are? That a woman shaking behind will take food out the mouth of your family? Go ahead. Talk to me. Mm. A whole week's pay gone, gone. because she shook. Amen. The love of your family alone should make you exceed that. That's right. Listen at the book of Mark. In the book of St. Mark chapter 6 and at verse 21. And when a convenient day was come, that Herod on his birthday made a supper to his lords. All right, Herod. Had a birthday celebration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Made a supper to his lords, high captains, and chief estates of Galilee. Yes. And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced. The daughter of Herodias. Brother, she danced. Danced. Dancing and dancing. Amen. And she wasn't holy dancing either. No, no. Wasn't dancing in the spirit. <laughs> no. Huh? No. But whatever she did, she laid it on the king. That's right. Just sitting there looking at her, carrying on. Looking at her. Young boys in their teens sneaking to strip clubs. Getting early exposure to half naked women. That's right. And then they lose their virginity by the time they're 10. That's right. And by the time you're 13, you ain't nothing but a frail baby making a baby. And you can't even buy a half a roll of paper towels. Not, in fact, you can't even buy the cardboard that, that the towel's wrapped around. <laughs> Don't even have coupons. No coupons. That's right. Losing your virginity. 10, 11, 12, 13. Woman! It's not a sin being a virgin. Preach it, brother. Don't worry about how your school friends look at you. You in school, let them boys keep their hands off of your behind. Go ahead. I can't believe he said that in the pulpit. You should be saying it at home. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Don't let no boy put his hands on your behind, on your breast, tongue in your mouth. Preach it, brother. Preach it. It doesn't matter what your so-called friends doing. If your friends is fast, you slow down slow and down. get away from them. Yeah. And stop being so weak-minded, you worrying about how they look at you. You church folk! Go ahead. On this social media. Go ahead. You Facebook folk, if you can't keep your Facebook righteous, Amen. shut it down. Amen. It should not be no half naked pictures of yourself, no even pictures from your past life with your lipstick and earrings and showing your shorts and your thighs and your cleavage. You ain't got no business Skyping each other and you half naked. A brother just got on a wife beater. <laughs> Cover your naked self up. Go ahead. Stop Amen. disgracing the church. Amen. You are an embarrassment to the church. Amen. You have no shame. Amen. You're indecent. It's on the internet. You Skyping some sister with a wife beater on. She ain't your wife. Not your wife. Now, if you want to Skype your wife, that's your wife. That's right. Your wife there Skyping, she can do whatever she wants. <laughs> You way in another country. You can look at her. <laughs> That's your wife. Go ahead, man. What are you doing Skyping some woman that ain't your wife and all you got is a wife beater? That's a wife beater. You walking away from the, from the camera so she can get a full shot of you. <laughs> and you wearing some thong and you're a man. Yo, oversized pervert. That's right. Oversized. 
Am I right? I said. That's what they're doing today. That's what they're doing. They got texting and they got sexing. That's right. You young folk want to take pictures of your body parts and send it to each other. That's what they're doing. You young girls want to take pictures of your womb, of your behind, and of your breasts. And you ain't even touched the fella yet. How did he manage to talk you out of all that? And then some of you parents get upset with me because I tell you, go get your children's phone and check behind it. Go, go get the laptop your children looking at and check behind it. Anytime a husband suggests that to the wife and the wife get upset, something's wrong. Go ahead, man. That'll start, that mess will start rolling your whole house. There shouldn't be no children bringing a cell phone to the kitchen table, to the breakfast table, to the dinner table. You mean to tell me your friends is more important than your family? Go ahead. Turn that phone off. Stop acting like you desperate and obsessed. Mother be talking to some of you daughters. Mm. She got to say, did you hear me? Yeah, ma. Mm. Did you hear what I said? Uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> You're so silly. It was on the news one day, a girl walking through the mall. And you know malls have them big fountains? She was busy texting and fell right in the fountain. And then she said she going to sue the mall because the fountain was in the wrong place. <laughs> People have been walking, texting, and walking out in the street and got hit by cars. That's right. It's so foolish. Look how weak your young generation are. I understand if you got a job that calls you, you got to have your phone on. But you walking all around, phone in your pocket, phone in your back pocket. Walking with drawers on in the house and a phone in your hand. Ain't got no pockets. Look how simple you became. If you're that weak and that dumb and that ignorant for something as cheap as a phone, then I can imagine what a woman can do to you. Can't even go to the bathroom right without any so long. You on the phone. Yeah, I'm done. Hurry up out of there. Hour went by. Two hours. Three hours. Haven't even got started going to the bathroom yet. <laughs> Haven't even got started on the phone. That's sad. Even though a phone got you stopped up. Phone got you constipated. Look how dedicated you are. Such that's loyal, that's blind loyalty. <laughs> that's blind loyalty. Yeah. Where a phone dictate your every move and it's not even your job requiring it. Look how silly you are. Men and women. Yeah. You're so silly and so foolish and so backward. You ain't nothing but a slave to a cell phone. <laughs> You are slave to it. Nothing but a cheap, weak slave. My Lord. And when a cell phone shut off, panic. Panic. That's true. Life is over. Life is over. What, am, what am I going to do? What am, what am I going to do? It's like you young people. When we came up, when we went to school, we used the dictionary and encyclopedias. This generation got an internet intellect. And then when your laptop shut down, you know what you say? I can't do my schoolwork. My, my lab don't work. Google ain't working. Too lazy to get a Webster dictionary to look up a word. Too lazy. These cell phones help you be dumb. You half spell a word and spell it for you. That's true. Yeah, it will. Yes, it does. That's right. You have spelled a word, it's spell it out for you. The phone is telling you, dumb. <laughs> it's 
something, man. The Bible says this. Man have sought out many inventions. Many inventions. And man is using inventions to enslave the human race. Got you so enslaved, it got you more preoccupied than the Lord. To the degree you will sit right in church while the message is being wow, taught. The message goes. Texting. That's true. On your knees in prayer. Texting. You're so wicked. You don't have no regard for God's house. Word is being preached. Knees praying. You have no respect for God's house. When the Lord said the Lord is in the holy temple. Let the earth keep silent. Lord. How did we get so backward and so corrupt? You better repent. 